Well, hi everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy. We've been kind of busy the last few days. We've measured the distance to the moon. Now it's time to use that to measure the distance to the sun. Let's go back to Aristarchus of Samos 2,300 years ago. Now a lot of people seem to believe that ancient people weren't all that smart. Aristarchus of Samos was a Greek astronomer that lived about 2,300 years ago. And he would have been very comfortable with calculus and computers and cell phones had they existed at that time. But they didn't. So what he did was he made the best of what he had, and what he had was geometry. And he came up with some brilliant deductive proofs to demonstrate the distance between the Earth and the Moon, the distance between the Earth and the Sun, the diameter of the Moon, and the diameter of the Sun. So if we have the Moon here, and we have the Sun out here, and this is our Earth here, he realized that if he was looking at the half moon, the sun, the moon, and the earth were forming a right angle here. And he reasoned that if he could measure this angle right here, he could use the cosine of this angle to determine the distance from the earth to the sun in terms of the distance from the earth to the moon. Now, using what he had at the time, he was able to measure angle alpha to be approximately 87 degrees. And he reasoned as a result that the sun was about 40 times as far away from the earth as the moon was. They, of course, realized that the earth was a sphere, that the moon was not of the earth, and that the sun was also not of the earth and not of the moon. They were three different distinct objects. However, with modern determinations, we know that this angle alpha equals 89.853 degrees. That means that this angle out here, which is angle beta, equals 0 0.147 degrees. Let's see if we can calculate this. Now, because of the way a slide rule works, it does a much better job with an angle like this, a small angle, than it does with one that's close to 90 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and use angle beta. The sine of angle beta will equal the opposite side, which is the distance to the moon, over the hypotenuse, which is the distance to the sun. And you can find angle beta simply by taking 90 degrees and subtracting the measured angle at Earth. Now, just a quick note on this measured angle from Earth. I have been trying for the better part of a year to measure this angle. The problem that you run into is that you have to do it under very specific circumstances. You have to have a half moon, or a quarter moon, as they call it, during the daytime where you can see both the moon and the sun, and you don't have a bunch of clouds obscuring your vision of it. So what I was going to do was take my sextant, and turn it on its side and measure the angle between the moon and the sun. And I should be able to get a pretty reasonable measurement. It's just I haven't had the weather conditions so far to do it. As a result, I'm going to go ahead and accept the currently accepted value and use that for these calculations. So we've balanced the slide rule so all the indices are lined up. And we're going to use the small angle scale, the ST scale, on the trigonometric side. And what we're going to do is we're going to come out that's 1.5, and we're going to come back to 1.47 degrees. Now, I realize that this is 0 0.147, but that just means that our answer, the sine of that angle, will be in the form of 0, 0.00 something something something. So let's go see what that something 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 is. Now, if we read straight down, we see that that is... 2.56. So what we have is 0 0.00256 equals sine beta, which is the distance to the moon over the distance to the sun. What we want to do is describe the distance to the sun in terms of distance to the moon. So we need to go ds over dm. And as a result, we need to divide 1 by 0 0.0256. Now, the easiest way to do that is since the, the CI scale, which is 1 over x, is already lined up with the, indice, with the index, we can just come out to 2.56 and read straight down. 
and that means that the distance to the sun is 390 times the distance to the moon. All right, well, let's go ahead and calculate the distance to the sun. From our previous video, we saw the distance to the moon was 384,000 kilometers. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply that by 390. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So we already have 390 queued up here. We're going to line up our index right over 390. And we're going to come out here to 384. So there's 38, 382, 384. And we have a distance to the sun of 150 million kilometers. And that is how you use the solar eclipse to find the distance first to the moon and now to the sun. Next, we'll have a look at the diameter of the moon and the diameter of the sun relative to the diameter of the earth. And then we'll finish up the series by using this information to find the diameter and the radius of the earth. So make sure you give me a follow and I hope to see you then. Take care.